So, there are some things in life that just really irritate me. One of them is people who really know nothing, or honestly should know better, going out there and blatantly violating the rules. In this case, it's the ATF. Because what you see here is the Honey Badger AR pistol. It's equipped with a stock brace, um, small caliber, just something very nice to have if you've had one. Well, that is until the ATF has come along and decided that they're going to redefine it after, define, after already defining it as a pistol. They're going to redefine it as an SBR. And I'm of the mindset, basically they have sent the company that makes this a cease and desist letter to stop making this right, stop making this gun altogether. It's also put a lot of people in some very serious situations because now, uh, I believe even, um, what is it, Classic Firearms gave away one of these honey badgers with a binary trigger in it, and now that owner after winning that gun through no fault of his own, is now facing felony charges if he doesn't comply with the law. Here's the problem with this. Before this was done, before the ATF made their little ruling, this thing was legal. Okay, You were not breaking the law. You were not doing anything wrong. And this irritates me to no end. Because you do, as a gun owner, you do everything you can to be compliant with the law. Okay, you look at the laws, especially if you're building your own firearm or assembling a firearm, which I have done with both my AR-15s. I did not buy a complete rifle. I went ahead and built one myself, and I went through mountains of legal crap to figure out what I could legally put together because there's apparently a few inches makes a difference between a really dangerous gun and a not dangerous gun. If my if my rifle has a barrel over so many inches, I can put a stock on it and that's okay. But if it's under so many inches, that turn if I put a stock on that gun, it turns it into some sort of unique ninja assassin weapon in which I can wipe out most of the US military with a single mag. It's it's quite freaking ridiculous. Especially when you consider that this is right now, this configuration with a pistol brace is now one of the most popular firearms in the United States at the moment. People are buying these because they're small, compact, and easily portable. It doesn't necessarily make them more dangerous. In fact, if you're going to take the 5.56 and you wanted to get the maximum range out of it, or the 223, for instance, great example because that's the more civilian side of it. If you want to take the 223 and get maximum advantage out of it, you'd put a 20 inch barrel on that thing. It'd be a freaking long gun. Because that 20 inch barrel takes maximum advantage of that round. It takes full advantage of the powder. You're not losing any energy from it. You're getting the maximum force out of it. Take a 223 and put it in this. It's going to A, be louder. B, I believe the recoil is going to be a little bit more difficult to manage. And C, your range is going to be cut down to all to God. It will not be. With a 223, you could literally hit something at a mile with it. With this, not possible. Now that's some serious work to it and some serious skill. So this is just simply, you know. ATF stepping in saying, oh, you know, uh, well, 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 we don't we don't like you having this because it scares us a bit. In reality, the ATF is just looking. The ATF has seen that the pistols with the, the AR pistols with the pistol braces have become fairly popular. And so now they're running up there looking at this from the point of, hey, we can make a little bit more money with these tax stamps if we make these illegal. That's why I tell people a lot of times you're not going to see gun control. The whole reason the bump stock see the bump stocks are not banned. I know everyone says bump stocks are banned. They're not banned. They're just heavily regulated now. And there's only one company, one group that is getting the money from them. You pay for that machine gun tax, 
to have that bump stock, you're paying the ATF for it. That's how it works. I know because I ordered one one time and, I, and they sent me back my money with a note telling me, hey, we're very sorry, but the ATF has given us a cease and desist letter and we cannot fulfill your order from Slidefire. And I was like, are you shitting me? <laughs> I lost out on something that I really wanted. I may just get a binary before they make them illegal. But anyway, yeah, this is just, like I said, the ATF doing this. I, I seriously don't, if anyone fights this with any kind of fervor, it's kind of a bad time for the ATF to do this, in my opinion, tactically. Because you've got Amy Comey Barrett coming in, and if she is sworn in, which she's probably going to, and Trump is president, if you can get this case seen to the Supreme Court within possibly a year, which is very likely, you re you have a good possibility of striking this down, possibly causing a lot more damage if played smartly. Because at the end of the day, the ATF's argument is that this pistol AR, as they're calling it, is not a pistol AR, it's an SBR because of the type of uh, brace that's on the back of it. Well, if you're doing that, and these are fairly popular, because the Honey Badger, I think, is one of the most popular AR pistols out there. It's fairly common. I honestly believe you could go in there with two arguments. One, that this is already a common firearm that's in common use. People are using them a lot. And then two, if crime has not gone up, you technically could use the same argument that got rid of the federal fire, the, uh, what was it? Not the federal firearms ban. My brain ain't working. It's been so hot. Uh, the assault weapons ban, where they were, where they said, you know, uh, we want to see a significant difference in crime. Now you probably can't do that because there's no sunset clause on the SBR thing, but you could go in there and make the argument that the law is pointless because if the ATF is going to argue that this is a the same thing as an SBR. Well, you've had the entire market flooded with SBRs legally because the ATF's been trying to define it, but you've had no uptick in crime. You've had no uptick in shootings. In fact, I think with the whole COVID-19 thing, there's actually been a vast reduction in mass murder, <laughs> mostly because people have been staying home. But you could make the argument of this. And I think it's an I think it's an opportunity if, if the NRA would get off their ass and do something. I think it's more of a GOA thing because I... I'm more inclined to send them my money if they would send me a if they put me in a raffle for a free gun every month. <laughs> if, the, if the GOA would do that, I would be interested in, in joining up. That that's kind of a deal breaker for me. NRA will do that, but NRA won't get off their ass and do nothing. But the GOA will. And so my thing about this, and, and I've I've said this before, I don't I think every single law that's on the books is unconstitutional. I think having a background check is unconstitutional. Uh, this idea that I have to be approved to buy a gun every time I go in there is stupidity. And also, you have to ask yourself another question uh, when it comes to felons. And in my, opin in my opinion, only a person who is a violent felon should be barred from having a gun. Okay? Um, at the same time, uh, in terms of legality, because here's the thing. I understand some guys have been put in prison because of the whole drug drug war thing, and I used to be for that. I'm going to say this right now. I used to be for the whole drug war thing until I got to looking at the fact that really the problem is a border dispute. You put up a wall, you start hampering it down, and then you put marijuana in place. And used to, around my county, you'd hear about people growing marijuana and getting smacked all the time with fines. You don't hear about it anymore. Uh, Missouri made it legal to buy uh, you know, cannabis products. And people go out and buy them. They're not doing anything illegal. They want to participate. They want to exercise their rights. And then I, I, you know, you have to come to grips with the terms of you want it. You're a pro freedom person, but you're not allowing these people to go out there and partake in something that is, as long as they're doing it legally, they're not driving or anything like that. I don't have a problem with people doing it. So I had, you know, I had to come up to terms with that. <laughs> but anyway, like I said. Um, and for those of you that are asking and wondering if you're going to catch me with marijuana, I don't smoke. I don't do any kind of marijuana whatsoever. And the only time I'd probably do it is if the doctor 
seriously recommended it was the only hope I had to fix a problem. Okay? If it's the only medication that I've got to do this, we will probably get high. But other than that, no. It's not something I want to do. My thing is this. My thing is guns. I like the smell of gunpowder. I like the recoil off of them. I like the sound of them. I like the fact that I can take one of these things, reach down range, and touch something as if I am reaching out with the hand of God. All right? That is the thing that I enjoy the most about it. And I enjoy the skill of it. I also enjoy the mechanics of a gun operating. I may do more gun stuff on the channel if this video does good. Because this is just a spur of the moment thing that I'm throwing out here. But if people, if, if y'all see this and you're like, hey, you know, we, we kind of like these kinds of videos, I will do more of them. I mean, I'm in the mindset of helping the people out. But and anyway, tell me what you think in the comments. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the video or subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications because... I'm pretty sure YouTube is going to hamper me down. The last time I did a pro-gun video, I saw a drastic reduction in views to the point I'm pretty sure I got shadow banned for it. So this is probably going to happen. So if you could, please share the video, all right? It would help me out a lot on this channel. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.